Is it hot in here? It's all right. Amen. 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 Good way to start it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, that?
The scripture teaches that the earth is the Lord. But not only is the earth the Lord, the kingdom of God reigns from universe to universe. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It's also, it, it pertains to righteousness. It pertains to God's authority. Yes. Uh, his yes. authority over sin yes. in the earth, mm -hmm. uh, his precepts and his examples and his rulership. We must have an authority to submit to. Mm -hmm. And so this is, as he said, as the pastor said, the universal, this is the universal rule, the universal authority in God's kingdom. It also brings peace. Peace is in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. yes. And so it's God's rule on earth, Jesus' power to deliver people from afflictions. Mm -hmm. We need that. Mm -hmm. We need to yes. be delivered, delivered from. from afflictions. We need to be delivered from sin. We need to have peace in our lives. We need to have comfort in our lives. Mm -hmm. So it's, that's all part of the kingdom. And as I stated, uh, Colossians 3 tells us how to live in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And that chapter is pretty bodacious. It, mm -hmm. it tells us exactly what we should and should not be doing. Let's go there briefly to Colossians, the third chapter, and verses 8 through 17. And I'm going to give you guys just a few minutes. As I said, I need your participation this morning. I'm going to give you a few minutes to uh, quickly peruse that, and, and I want some feedback on how we should be living in the kingdom. I thought this was pretty important. Colossians 3, verses 8 through, Eight through 17. 17. So let's quickly review that. Anyone want to start? Colossians 3, verses 8 through 17. Well, I, what I'm looking for is feedback as to how we Let's should be living in the kingdom of God under his reign and rule. Could we read the first teacher? First, I, I want feedback. First, it will share where we, we, we are supposed to be taken off. Mm -hmm. You know, we're no longer this and we're, no, we're now this. Okay, so what is this? About, Let's talk about we're no this. Longer supposed to have anger, we're no longer supposed to have wrath, malice, things that are, that are sinful, Good. the opposite of Christ, and so that's what the beginning is saying, we have to stop this, and since we're trying to be an image of Christ, we have to put on, or change our lifestyle, or begin to walk a different way than we mm -hmm. have been. Mm -hmm. Right. Because right. our human nature is automatically already almost like a magnet. <laughs> yeah. This is the opposite. <laughs> we um, we were talking about this yesterday, mission. Mm -hmm. We have to learn just like we learn to tie our shoes mm -hmm. to learn mm -hmm. something different. Mm -hmm. we, we we're already sinful in nature, so we're learning something. So our instructions are here. So that's kind of to me what that's any other feedback? That's like, right. And that peace. Mm -hmm. That peace. Okay. okay. I like that. You left out that last one. <laughs> the the communication. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I was like. Let, let's, anyone else? You got something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, look at verse 9. Yep. Lie not one to another. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, <laughs> Lie not one to another, seeing that ye down. have put mm -hmm. off the old man. Mm -hmm. As Sister said, the old man. This is the way, the ways of the flesh, the way that we acted mm -hmm. in the past. Mm -hmm. Put on the new man. And then verse 12 says, Put on therefore the elect of God, holy and beloved, vows of mercy. Kindness. Kindness, humbleness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And forgiving one another. If any man fear. have any quarrels against any. That's oh, like Lord Jesus. God. That's and then like verse 15. Fear. We're in Colossians 3 3 and 15. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also you are called in one body. I heard the pastor say universal. Uh huh. The body of Christ is universal. Yes. It's nationwide. It's worldwide. Mm -hmm. And we need God's laws and precepts and examples to follow to be on one accord. 
Then verse 16 yes, says, Let the word of Christ there, there dwell in you richly, richly in, all in all wisdom. wisdom. What does wisdom come from? What is wisdom? Come from God's God's knowledge. All right. God's knowledge. That's wisdom. All right, amen. Mm -hmm. And it's also the ability to apply what we know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can know, you can read the word and know it, but you're not applying it. Mm -hmm. And when sister said, put it on. Mm -hmm. It's like we got up this morning, we put our clothes on. Mm -hmm. And so we have to put on wisdom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because this flesh is not wise. <laughs> the mind of the world is not wise. So we have to put it on and let Christ dwell in us richly, teaching and admonishing one another in songs, hymns, and oh, we just had our... We just had, we that just that had that our hot just oh, Lord, Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Singing yeah, with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Confirmation. So I wanted to bring that out. That is kingdom behavior. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. You know what, so, um, Sister uh, Minister, I always like the scripture when it says, if anybody lacking wisdom, you know, ask for it and God will give it to them freely. Uh -huh. And I always look at that as... as a lot of, uh, even in the scripture in Timothy, I believe it talks about honoring the elders. I think wisdom come in a, a, over a period of time of, of yes. things that we went through. And then we can always get wisdom. Where we get wisdom from? Out of the word, the mm -hmm. word of God. If we, on top of the word, it's going to give us wisdom, especially the books like Proverbs and all that. That's, Amen. that's just good wisdom, mm -hmm. you know. And we'd be wondering, well, how do I get wisdom? You know, how are you going to give it to me? It's right here in the Word of God, and if we in it, we're gonna have wisdom. And sometimes Amen. that wisdom, sometimes that wisdom is something simple. Mm -hmm. I got, so I got, and sometimes plus is refresh, mm -hmm. refresh yeah, renew, renew. Of because some of that stuff is like I said, yeah. simple. We a lot of us already taught it, but as we get old, we tend to forget. Well, stuff, you so need we to renew. Yeah, be not conformed, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. And, yeah. and I guess that goes with the saying that that's why the Word is alive. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm, I'm thinking about the scripture says, "Thy word have I hid in my heart." Yes. 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 So if yes. we study the word, yes. uh -huh. somehow it attaches to our spirit man. Yeah. And then when we're in a situation, yeah. wisdom. Yes. 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 The Holy Ghost yes. brings yes. right back to Good point. Yes. Good point. Very He'll good point. He'll speak it, and yep. then we, but Very still good. our will is involved. We have yeah. to apply it. Amen. And that's Amen. when wisdom comes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sister, like you just said, and on. We have to study the word. Because if you don't put yeah. nothing in, oh, yeah. you're, you're not getting nothing to come out. So you don't have nothing to come out. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And we know we know that Isaiah was a righteous man. He was a man of God. He yeah. was esteemed highly because he was a prophet. Yeah. And God trusted him with his word. Yeah. Amen. And we've talked before that God is calling us in our own rights right. to be prophets in the world. Mm -hmm. To prophesy, yeah. I'm going to get in that to that. Bring good news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our feet going in the right places to witness and to bring good news and to share the gospel and to proclaim it out of our mouth. That's that's pretty much what prophecy is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is proclaiming. God's word, wow. his will, and yes. his plan. Yes. 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 It's very yes. simple. Yes. Yes. All right, sir. Uh, there are, uh, there, th there's been some, um, I guess, uh, some people have problems with prophet in the present day. Mm -hmm. But we cannot deny that that is a gift that is needed in the body of Christ. It's yes, one it of is. the fivefold ministry mm -hmm. groups. Mm -hmm. yes. And it needs to be working in the body of Christ and in our churches. Yeah. Now the background here I want to talk a little bit about um, the kingdom of Judah, which was a southern kingdom where King David and Solomon had ruled in the past. Jerusalem was their capital, and these Jews, this particular set of Jew, uh, sect of Jews, were in exile in Babylonia mm -hmm. under King Nebuchadnezzar at that time. Uh, remember the story about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and they would not bow to a lot of their culture, uh, to the idolatry, and so there was a war going on. So they took them captive, took them as slaves. And Jeremiah, another prophet, mm -hmm. had prophesied that they would be in exile in Babylon for 70 years. 70 years. 70 long years. And then the prophecy came forth that they would be released 
out of that exile, released out of slavery. Now God used, God used that exile to uh -oh. do what? Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Exactly. What does God use in our life when we are disobedient? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, captivity. Yeah, he, he, he used that as captivity. a method. He used yeah, that as a down. method to give them a spanking. And yeah. they were held up. <laughs> they were held up in there for 70 years. And you know they were crying and moaning and carrying on. Like us, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Just like us. <laughs> they were rebellious. Yeah. So I want to talk about the rebellion a little bit this morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> they were rebellious in there, and they were trying to come out. And so God heard their cries, just like he hears our cries. The word tells us that he hears our cry. And so while they're in there, he has mercy on them eventually. And he sends a prophet. Well, Isaiah's one of them. I believe there was another one that said, you're coming out. You're coming out. You're coming out of slavery. You're coming out of exile. I'm going to set you free. I'm going to bring you to a place of safety. I'm going to bring you to a place of refuge. And that's where Isaiah 52 takes us. You know, the word that came to me again, again, and again. Over and over. Do we get it right? Do we get it right? Go ahead. Does someone have to Didn't they just come out of Egypt? You brought them out of the town of Egypt prior to that? I'm going to talk about that too. There were, okay, actually, I found out in my studies, and I didn't know this or remember this from Bible school, but. There were several um, exiles that they were involved yes, in. Yes, like yes. you said, over and over, they kept going back in. God delivered them. We know the story about the children yeah, of Israel. Yeah, just yeah, like yeah. Uh, me and you. <laughs> yeah, 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 just, They're just like me and you. We'll go back yeah. again. Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then when we get under the heat, we cry out, and God gives us mercy. Yeah, and he, that's it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. But hopefully, eventually, we learn something. So there was two exits or exodus. The first one we're familiar with, where they, the children of Israel had to get up in a hurry in the middle of the night. They couldn't finish. The, the bread was rising, and they had to take off. And God said, go. And we remember that story. Mm -hmm. And then this one is another exit or exodus. And in this one, uh, this one's pretty remarkable because uh, in this exit, um, they weren't in a hurry. The proclamation yes. had come, yes. Yes. and they could take their time. Yes. But what I loved about studying this is I found out that they, um, in this exit or exodus, they were, let's see, they had learned mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. They were doing this over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They learned when we go to when we go back to our home, which is Jerusalem, because that was their heart's desire. Yes. They had been taken out of their country, taken out of their land, mm -hmm. and so they said, "When we go back, Lord, we promise we're not going to get into we're not going to be in idolatry. We're not going to take the vessels, the items, the people, the objects from the temple, mm -hmm. from the Babylonians uh, Babylonians worship. Mm -hmm. We're not going to take those items because they were unclean." Mm -hmm. We're not yes. going to take those back home and use them in our temple of worship. Because yes. see, God is always after worship with us. Mm -hmm. yes. After we have sinned, and after we have fallen short, and after we have repented, what does he want us to do? Worship and worship praise him. him. Worship. Yes. Give him the glory. Yeah. Worship, yes. him the glory. which is bowing down before mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily physical. Yes, we can do that too. Yes. But yes. it's up in here. It's humbling, humbling yourself Very before good. the Almighty mm -hmm. God. Acknowledging that I am wrong. Mm -hmm. Acknowledging that I have sinned and I have fallen short. That's good. all he wants Very from us. Good point. Yeah. It's Very so good point. simple. Very good point. Yeah. And so here they were, hung up in this place. Couldn't, be, couldn't go back to their homeland. And... God blessed me with the opportunity many, many years ago to Jerusalem, uh, to go to Jerusalem. If you haven't been, it's a wonderful trip. Oh, wow. It's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. 
and they were longing for their home. They were longing for their customs, longing for their roots. But they got expelled out of there because of rebellion. God will take us. You got to say something? No, to say oh, disobedience. Disobedience. God will take us. We lead him all the way around Robin Hood's barn. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but eventually, eventually, when we become seasoned, we should be obeying God. Yes, yes. right. Yes, yes. Amen. We should be obeying God. It's a pleasure to obey God. Mm -hmm. Because when you start to see his marvelous works and what he can do in your life, mm -hmm. it's a pleasure to obey. Was this also the time? Was Jerusalem destroyed? And they had to rebuild the temple. Yes. Is that, is this, this yes. This is all part. Okay. This, this is all part, part of that, right? Ezra okay. and Nehemiah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They okay. rebuilt. They right. rebuilt. They restored. God gave them plans. Yeah. But see, they had to get into mm -hmm. repentance first. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This season, this seventy years, mm -hmm. they had to be prepped for that. Mm -hmm. And see, sometimes we're wondering why we're going through things for so long. Mm -hmm. Got to be prepped for something. Yeah, we got to be prepared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and it, sometimes it's difficult because we're walking by faith and we don't totally know what God is doing. Yeah, 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 but we yeah, should get into yeah, those places yeah. and rest there and wait on him. See, that's where that wisdom comes. Mm -hmm. We well, wait yeah, on yeah. him mm -hmm. to take us to the next step. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. You know we want to oh, take the take In the meantime, your flesh, <laughs> your flesh is streaming. You want to take the reins, I got this and all that. We got to hear the God. Yeah. Your flesh. Yeah. Yeah. But we know what Abraham and Sarah did. Yeah, mm -hmm. went ahead of God. And see, God had a plan for them to create a nation mm -hmm. out of their loins, mm -hmm. out of a barren woman. Mm -hmm. And God had a plan, and it was a miraculous plan. Mm -hmm. But they had another plan. Yeah, they had their plan. But see, God's plan will be established in the earth whether you obey or not. Right. Exactly. Right. You there somebody you else. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go, exactly. I'm looking at Colossians 3 and 23. Right. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, <laughs> but in singleness of heart, fearing God. That sounds like us. Yeah. <laughs> I serve it. yeah. We have to submit to authority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, scripture tells us. God has, God has, and as I said earlier, part of the kingdom of God is authority his rule and his reign and it's what he wants and we have to remind ourselves over and over and over again this is not about me getting something from God but it's about him wanting me to do something <laughs> but I don't want to flesh I want to yeah yeah uh -huh. that's what we're called for is to do what he wants yeah now he's gonna bless us in the process because it's reciprocating but we want to do what we want to do. Oh, right. <laughs> and so that's all, that's what that rebellion is all about. And here in our lesson, this is a perfect example of rebellion going on for generations. <laughs> 70 years, that's a long time. And this is just uh, one particular season of rebellion. Okay, let's, let's briefly, uh, someone read verse 7 for me, anyone. Just go for it. Colossians 7? No, I'm sorry. Our lesson. Isaiah 52, Isaiah. here on page uh, 345, yeah, three verse where 7. say, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that published peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, and published salvation, that said unto Zion, thy great Zion. It's all right. Okay, mm -hmm. praise mm -hmm. him. How mm -hmm. beautiful. Upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publish peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publish salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. Now, in this era or in, in this particular um, dispensation or time, what, what I want to bring out is we're going to, I'm going to try and help you understand there's a parallel here. Now we have to remember a lot of the scripture, or most of the scripture, is prophetic. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to ask God for wisdom and revelation. Mm -hmm. Because a prophet can speak uh, in a poem, um, mm -hmm. like a format of a poem, mm -hmm. an ode, uh, 
sometimes, this is me, uh, this is the way God deals with it. It's kind of like a riddle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A riddle, a rhyme, and you can't totally decipher it. It's bits and pieces. Yes. Yes. And yes. so as time uh, goes by, bits and pieces become revealed, or you may understand the totality of it. Mm -hmm. We've heard we've heard songs and sayings, we'll understand it better by and by. Yeah, yeah. But see, I'm going to talk about the prophet a little bit and the watchman, because when God is dealing with you in a prophetic manner, you may not totally understand everything, but like I said, he will reveal bits and pieces. And I'm going to bring out parallels here, because in this verse, Isaiah is speaking about them being delivered from the Babylonian captivity. Mm -hmm. But this verse today is referring to us as carriers of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Because I mentioned earlier that Jesus was prophesied to be the messenger of salvation to the world. Mm -hmm. And so, actually, there's three parallels in this verse. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him uh, that bringeth good news or good tidings. Mm -hmm. Now, this area was mountainous that they were going to conquer. Mm -hmm. And what they would do is uh, there were individuals assigned to stand on the mountains and yell out. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they had a megaphone or what their, uh, their concept was. But they would proclaim the gospel, proclaim the good news. The good news here is we're going to be set free. Oh, we're leaving here. We're leaving this land of exile. We're leaving this land of slavery, and we're going home mm -hmm. to our homeland. Mm -hmm. We're going back to our beautiful place. We're going back to rebuild. We're going to rebuild temples. We're going back home. Mm -hmm. And we know home is a place of comfort. Mm -hmm. So this heralding message was sent forth from the mountaintops. Now, I want you to see here there's a type and shadow of us. We're supposed to be going in the streets and proclaiming the message of Jesus. That's All right. Mouthpiece. That's the mouthpiece. Ah, we're the mouthpiece. Yeah. And that's uh -huh. what was going on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Isaiah was prophesying about the messenger telling them they're going to be delivered from mm -hmm. Babylon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was prophesying to us saying how beautiful upon the mountains or the world are the feet of us that's bringing the good news. Uh, uh, that's what Jesus did. He walked and walked. His feet were moving. I don't know if you guys heard that song. There's a beautiful song out, Contemporary Gospel, and it's talking about our feet moving, yeah. carrying the gospel. Yeah. And so this is what we're called to do, is to bring good tidings, to herald the news of the gospel, to publish peace, uh -huh. We said that peace yeah. was part of the kingdom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They needed peace. They were in a place of turmoil, and they needed refuge and safety. I'm talking mm -hmm. about the, uh, the uh, Jews now coming from their uh, place of uh, wickedness. So Isaiah prophesies was past and present. Come on now. Come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and see, that's what I meant. It's, it's kind of like a riddle. Mm -hmm. God may speak to you and may not totally understand, and then later on you go, oh. Yeah, yeah. but that's oh, what Jesus oh, spoke yeah. Parables. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I've because uh, I, got a, I got a phone call this week about something, and then it's like God said, remember I had you tell that person something three times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Mm -hmm. And see, he always comes back and lets you know mm -hmm. that the words you have spoken is true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He always it's coming from him. It's coming from him, yeah, and so he is all-knowing, yeah. all-powerful. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He's Omnipre everything. Yeah. Omnipresent. Yeah. All of those. Mm -hmm. And see, these are, that's, that's the kind of relationship he wants us to have with him. When we're getting, when we're at a crossroad, getting to make, getting ready to make a decision, mm -hmm. we need to seek Him, and He will First, speak yes, to us, yes. and He will bring peace, mm -hmm. yeah. yes. He will bring comfort, uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. and all of those good things. Yeah. That's, so here what go that ahead. scripture came to mind, seek ye first the kingdom yes. of God and yes. all these things that be added unto Amen. you. So you Amen. seek Him first, and then mm -hmm. when you're in situations, mm -hmm. okay? So here it says, uh, that bringeth good tidings of good, 
And we know God is nothing but good. <laughs> yes. We know there's a lot of wickedness going on around us that publishes salvation. Salvation means to be saved and made whole. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. were heralding the message of salvation. Jesus came into the world to give the message of salvation of, and of hope. Mm -hmm. So see, he was talking about Jesus, mm -hmm. who hadn't even shown up yet. Because mm -hmm. later on, he prophesied about the baby. and mm -hmm. You all know the story of Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. That saith unto Zion. I want to talk about Zion a little bit. This is uh, Zion. Oh, wow. I tell you, this, this lesson, to get into the depth of it. Zion represents Jerusalem, which was their homeland, the city of holiness and refuge. That was their comforting place. God was giving them their home back. Okay? Zion can also be referred to as the church or temple can be a place of holiness and re refuge. But this is what's interesting. In uh, earlier in Isaiah, uh, in, we're in uh, chapter 52, but like verses 1 through 7, he's calling uh, Zion the daughter. Mm -hmm. okay. so different shout, and I so. said, Lord, mm -hmm. what is yeah. that? Yeah. And so yeah. as I began to study, it said Israel is the masculine side and Zion, Jerusalem, is fe feminine. Mm. So God's dealing with... <laughs> It, I tell you, yeah, this, yeah. this prophetic message is yeah. powerful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God is dealing with the masculine side mm -hmm. and the feminine side. Mm -hmm. And this is all revelatory. Mm -hmm. So that's what Zion represents. Rep Zion represents all of that. Mm -hmm. The city of holiness and refuge uh, is God's people, God's church. Because mm -hmm. earlier in Isaiah it says, awake, awake, O Zion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to wake up. <laughs> okay. yeah. Awake, awake, O Zion. See, that's another heralding proclamation message. Mm -hmm. Wake up, because thy God reigneth. And we talked about what the reign means. Mm -hmm. uh, someone read verse 8 for us, please. Thy, wa thy watchmen shall lift up the voice. With the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye. When the Lord shall bring again Zion. That's Zion again. There it is again. <laughs> That's why I wanted to bring out that word. I kept seeing it. And then I, uh, I've seen it in Isaiah quite a If you read Isaiah again, you'll see it quite a few times. Mm -hmm. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice. Okay. During that era, they had people designated to watch on the wall. Mm -hmm. And I found this interesting because when I went to Jerusalem, that's that's one of their big uh, uh, tourist attractions. Thank you. <laughs> tourist attractions is they've got the wall there, the big wall, the Wailing Wall, and it's probably a wall that never came down when they destroyed it. I believe that's what it represents. And there's people there all day just praying and wailing, facing the wall. But anyways, uh, in that particular dispensation. Um, there were watchmen on Jerusalem's walls awaiting the proclamation and news. So they were, I, I saw them as probably people that were praying. Mm -hmm. They were in waiting. Mm -hmm. And see, Habakkuk, in the second chapter of Habakkuk, it talks about uh, being a watchman on the wall. Mm -hmm. And that's referring to us. Oh, that's mm -hmm. Prayer warriors mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. watch. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, watch, "Watch as well as pray." Yeah, watch and pray. And so, there, there, there are people on the wall that are watching. It's not a literal wall, but we're watching to see what God will do. That's what Habakkuk says. We're watching to see what He's going to do. And I'm going to take a little bit further. When you're on that wall, He will reveal what He's going to do at different times. But God does what he wants, mm -hmm. so he reveals what he wants. Because he reigns. When he wants. Because he reigns. When he wants. Yeah, he reveals when he wants. Because he reigns. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's all-knowing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He is all-knowing, and he knows what's happening. I mean, he created this place. This whole thing is his idea. Mm -hmm. Creating us, so the if, world, the earth. Mm -hmm. Even, I'm sorry, Chris, but so even though, Bad things are going on and all this Always stuff will around. Be. 
God yeah. is still in control. Yes. 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 The scripture says mm -hmm. that many places. Mm -hmm. Many, many places. And the reason why I started mentioning that because if there there's a lot going on out there thinking that there's no God, mm -hmm. that this world is just rolling mm -hmm. around, you know, the Big Bang and all that other stuff going yeah. on. You know, things like that. Well, we have yeah. to remember Breakful. Satan is the God of the world. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And Breakful. see, his trick... Yeah. His trick, it says that if he had known that Jesus was the Lord of glory, he wouldn't have crucified him. Mm -hmm. So his trick is always to make us think that he's greater than us. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Oh, he's greater than us. And see, that's why it's so difficult for us a lot of times. Your faith has to be stronger than what you're seeing. Yeah. Okay. okay. See, your faith, <laughs> okay. your faith has to be stronger than what you're seeing because... While we look at the things that are, anybody know the scripture? While we look at the things that are seen, mm -hmm. they are what? Not sure. Well, temporary. Yes. I should find that scripture. Yeah, not temporary. Yeah. That is a, that's a bad scripture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. While we look at the things that are seen, they are temporary. So what you're seeing is temporary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we look at the things that are not seen, which are eternal. See, that's where your faith should be focused on because we, God gives us a word about our situation. And I have to have a word about my situation. I don't know about you guys. Uh, hey, hey, well, well, I got, I got real well, yeah, crazy stuff go. going my, on in my life. So my I friend. trust him for a word. Lord, what do I do? Do I go here? Do I go yeah, there? Yeah, do yeah, I yeah, stay yeah, here? Yeah, 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 do, yeah. do I stand up? Do I sit down? Yeah, yeah. And so he gives me a word about his will and what he wants to do in my situation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Satan goes to work to make you think it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And it will look like it's not going to happen. Huh, yes. Huh. There's a lot worse than you think. To <laughs> and yeah, it get, it, it gets sometimes it gets really bad. It looks yes. it looks real yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. It it's, looks real bad. And that's because we exist or live in a seen world. Mm -hmm. It's because mm -hmm. of the fall of man. We see everything. Kind okay, of. look, this is eye to eye, or they shall see eye to eye. Did you guys catch that? But this lesson is so powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going back to the lesson. Okay, so the watchman, we're supposed to be on the watchtower watching to see what God's going to do. Mm -hmm. This watchman here lifted up the voice on the tower, or the watchman was, you know, on the hills, and they, they're looking, they're peeking over to see what's, to, to, to proclaim what's going to happen. They know what's going to happen. They're looking for it. And it says, with the voice together, shall they sing. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Why would they be singing? Come on, class. Why are they singing? Why are we singing? Why are we singing? Why are we singing when we're hurting? Why are we singing when everything is crazy when we come in here? We're believing that it's going to get better. We're proclaiming, even when we're singing and praising, we are proclaiming God's word and his truth and that it's going to get better. Yeah, we always yeah. got hope. Yeah. 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 Uh, exactly. What's that, what's that one hope. song mm. that, um, uh, is it Marvin? No, mm. Oh my goodness, the guy that lost his wife wrote. Oh, never would have made it. No, it's a song about praising him before it happens. Mm. Okay, anyways, it'll come back. Mm. But that's what we are supposed to be doing. It says, with the voice together, they're singing while they're watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise him in advance. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Right. So the watchmen, All right. the watchmen are looking and expecting like us. We're watchmen looking and expecting. Mm -hmm. And so it says, they are singing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. For they shall see eye to eye. See, they know they're gonna see something, mm -hmm. and we're gonna see him too. Mm -hmm. And the world is we're gonna see him there. now. Remember, I said this lesson had different parallels. Mm -hmm. We can see him now by mm -hmm. faith, and then we're gonna see him this face to face. Yeah, and sister, the world will think you crazy when you okay. see him going through something. Are you singing praises to God? Yes, they think Are we're nuts. Are you losing your mind? Yeah. <laughs> they think we're nuts, but 
as these Jews, mm -hmm. they had hope. Mm -hmm. They had hope in their hearts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hope, hope, and hope. then God sent the prophet to say, you're coming out, you're coming out, mm -hmm. you're coming out. Mm -hmm. And God's got prophets in the earth now that encourage us, you're coming Bacon. out, you're Curse coming out. God. And then we are supposed to carry that to the streets. Mm -hmm. That's right mm -hmm. now. God is your salvation. He's your deliverer. Yes, Let yes, me pray yes. with you. Let me show you how to worship. Your hope should be. You think we're not doing it because we think we hate rejection? Well, we're just, yes. But we there's multiple reasons. Most of it is because, look at all the pressure. There, there is just an incredible, I look at my life and the people around me. Mm -hmm. And the phone calls that I get. Mm -hmm. The people we talk to. Mm -hmm. And that's the first thing that comes out of everybody's mouth. Oh, I got so much going on. I'm going through so much. And there, there's an intensity of um, just demonic spirits mm -hmm. coming against us. And it's increasing. Mm -hmm. It could be in our bodies, uh, our minds. I mean, look at the look at the murders and the violence and the anger yes, and family yes. relationships. So much, yeah. so broken. Right Things bound. that were yeah. so simple yes. have become so difficult. Yes. And then I always go back to the scripture that says all the, the whole earth is in travail. Mm -hmm. The whole earth is in travail and pain for the coming of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And, and we, it has to get this way for his coming. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. And so as we're moving, she said prophecy, there it is. Mm -hmm. As we're moving toward, we're, we're, we're always in the end times because we're moving toward that mm -hmm. event. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're selfish. Oh. He asked why, why we don't proclaim the gospel. We're selfish. Um, the pressures of life. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about the cares of life. Mm -hmm. Lazy, stubborn. Mm -hmm. All of that. Mm -hmm. All of that. Mm -hmm. And see, in my life, I noticed that. Well, it's the enemy just bringing more and more stuff mm -hmm. and just dumping it on me. Mm -hmm. And that's why I enjoy Minister Chas's uh, message so much last Sunday. Yeah. Yes, you got to push yes. that off of you. Mm -hmm. You, you, you got to get into your watchman position. You got to get into your intercessory prayer uh, position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and be in uh, direct contact with God every day mm -hmm. and praying every day and not only for yourself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen to that. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. God's, God's always got me. <laughs> Praying over other folks. Oh, you see? He takes care of my business. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I, I got to take care of his business. Uh -huh, uh -huh, okay, okay. You see what I'm saying? Amen. So as I'm taking care of his business, he's taking he take care of my business. Sometimes that clears the way for me, too. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And yeah. so he's taking care of my business mm -hmm. while I'm. Because it is the great command. It's the great commission. Yes, that's right. Therefore, it's to take it. Take it. Yeah. Yeah. And so we should always be looking for opportunities. That's right. Uh, when we go out to eat, you know, I talk to the waiters. I talk to the waitresses. I leave extra tips. I mean, there's just all kind of things we can do. There's all kind of things we can do. And we just need to ask God, what can I do in my little busy life or my little busy world to bless other people? And, not and there's an not opportunity not each and every day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Each and every day. We have to look for to it. To share the gospel, but we have to be looking for it. Right. We have you know, to be looking for it. You know, we have to have a it. desire. We know that. That's what we're called to do. So it should just happen. And God will give us what to say. Yes, he will. Yeah, he and will. it's very simple. Yeah. We just, yeah. we make it so complicated. Uh -huh. It's just very. real simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it can just take a few minutes. And yes. then ask God for opportunities. Yeah, mm -hmm. pray for it. You'll get yeah, it just ask him, Lord, uh, lead me today. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, we were talking about the feet. Mm -hmm. You know, where, where am I going today? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, take me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I see yes, people at the uh, grocery store. Go uh, ahead, Pastor. Just this last Tuesday morning, me and Pastor Al Williams were at a quick trip on Oliver the 29th. Mm -hmm. Young black man walked in and he started talking about God. And, mm -hmm. and boy, we was all on it for a minute. Right. He started talking about how we're going to live on this earth forever, and mm -hmm. we're waiting for uh, uh, mm -hmm. the Israel to be restored, and he's a black man, so you know where he was headed. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. 
black Israelite. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Talking about how God's going to restore Israel in this world and we all going to be here, just us. Uh -huh. I said, hold up, man. Whoa, you had I hope it wasn't my nephew. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it wasn't my nephew. Hold up, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, he showed you. He said, he hope it wasn't his nephew. Yeah, God got him. He was right at one point in time. He came back to Wichita. Now you're black Israelite. <laughs> I said, now oh, I preach mercy. Jesus Christ, death, burial, and resurrection. Uh -huh. That's it. Uh -huh. They ain't worried about this earth. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't be here. Ooh. Yeah. You well, might be, but I ain't uh, Back to what you're saying. Back to study the word because oh, if yeah. you don't know it's so much, you can turn yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. He was yeah. having good yeah. there for a minute. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can carry it away. Well, he, he was trying to proclaim his belief and his message. Yeah. Oh, and, and everybody quit tripping. He wasn't whispering. Either. Mm. I've been practicing yeah. like, yeah. oh my God. He here was we bold. Are. Yeah, you so I stopped him in his tracks. Hold up now. Hold, 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 hold. Yeah. We Amen. preach Christ Jesus, Amen. death, burial, and resurrection. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Wow. Amen. I've been through that. Wow. And you're accountable for that. If you don't, if you don't speak the truth, if you don't speak the truth. They're bold and yeah, we're not. Yeah, because there's so many people hearing this, hearing this, and if you don't stand boldly with the truth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. In closing, as I said, this lesson was very uh, in depth. Uh, verse 9 break forth and enjoy sing, 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 sing. We wonder why we sing. We have to sing. We're singing, we're proclaiming. We're proclaiming um, our refuge, we're proclaiming our safety, we're proclaiming the word of God in song and in praise. And here, um, Isaiah, as I said, was prophesying about bringing them out, bringing them back to Jerusalem for the rebuild. lesson today. The ladies are still in doing our accounting for Sunday school. Just as the prophets of old in Isaiah day were bold and proclaiming, the church has gotten quiet. Yeah, that's right. The church of 2023 is quiet. Jehovah's Witness don't have a problem coming. No. They ain't got no problem at all coming knocking on your door, yeah. giving you that watchtower. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They ain't got no problem. They'll get you on the street walking past. Exactly. <laughs> Last year this time I was in I was in Memphis, Tennessee. Those people was on uh, Urban Street out there with their robes on and their clowns on. Right. In the middle of the street yelling about the black Israelites. <laughs> and how God's going to restore everything to his people because we are his people. The black Israelites. Mm. And they had stopped the crowd around them mm. shouting. Mm. The guy had on his robe like he was the old priestly robe. Wasn't no shame in his game at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But here's the church. Yeah, the wrong man. We whisper it. Mm -hmm. On the job, we whisper to folks. Mm -hmm. They have to ask us if we are Christian. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They have to ask us mm -hmm. if we go to church. Mm -hmm. But all these other false religions are just as bold yeah. as all day long. Tina Turner just passed this last week and they did interviews with her before she passed and she was bragging about how she a Buddhist. Uh -huh. And how 
Buddha that protected her, and Buddha that done all yeah. this for her. And uh -huh. That's why she's famous now because she had no problem bragging on Buddha. And here we are, God has brought us a mighty long way. And we sit quiet. We ought to be on the street corner. <coughs> That's what the Word of God told us. Mm -hmm. the go ye. Don't sit here and wait for them to come to you. Or compel. <laughs> compel. So, uh, again, I thank you all for the lessons. Mr. Amen. Lewis, thank you for the lessons. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, she's been itching. She's been itching. She scratched that itch. He had the feet. He had the feet going. Come on, this secretary is aware of Sunday school. Let's review. Let's review. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Who's got the lesson review? Well, the young kids, the lesson review, if y'all want to. The, it's up to you. They had switched because they were. Hmm? Y'all want to do it? Yeah, go ahead. Let's read if y'all want to. That's up to y'all. Oh, yes. Go ahead, kids. Go ahead. I know y'all let's. So let us fire. Okay. They ready. Zaya, where's Zaya? Okay. Are they coming down? Where's Zaya? She's right there. She's ready. Zaya is great. Let us stay ready. Stay ready. Yes, sir. Okay, what's the time for this lesson? Speak up. What? What's the time for the lesson? Adam and Eve in the Garden of Adam. The Garden of what? Adam. Eden. 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 Okay? And she said, I'm going to take this fruit and give it to who? Adam. 
Oh. 